Oh, quite scary to see the images like that. And boy, those tornadoes were nasty last week. There was one day last week there was 50 tornadoes reported from Texas all the way up through uh, parts of the uh, tornado alley, all up through about uh, parts of uh, Oklahoma and also for Kansas. And that spread a little further to the east over the last uh, or the towards the end of the weekend. Now that same storm system, a cold front begin to move into our area tonight, but it has weakened quite a bit. I'll talk more about that and show you exactly what's going to happen as we go throughout the day. But temperatures outside upper 60s and lower 70s. It is a mild start. Savannah, we are 71. Our average morning low for this time of year is 61 degrees, so running 10 degrees above our averages in the upper 60s inland areas. And it is quite warm, muggy, a little bit of hazy skies to start the day. Let's look at your hourly forecast. We'll take you all the way through the afternoon and even into the evening. Starting out in the 70s, you can see by lunchtime today, 87 degrees will quickly warm up, showing here at 90 degrees at 2 o'clock. And then showers and thunderstorms after 3 o'clock today will be developing. And some of the storms could be rather strong with the heat and humidity. Just like yesterday, could produce some gusty winds as well as some heavy downpours. But at least your morning commute starting out nice and dry. You can see it across the coastal empire, the low country, nothing going on uh, with mostly sunny skies. Zoom out a little bit and show you where that front is. You can see it stretching from Tennessee all the way back into central parts of Mississippi. It will work into our area, but not until later tonight. And that will allow for those showers and thunderstorms to develop out ahead of this front. And also out ahead of the front, that's where we'll see these warm temperatures uh, later today. I should say hot temperatures will feel like like summertime uh, later this afternoon. And you can see the cloudiness, also that shower activity associated with the front that will slowly sink into our area a little later today. Now watch the storm tracker forecast. This is a future radar, how it's going to play out throughout the daytime. You can see the morning, 9 o'clock, all the way through lunchtime or just after lunch at 1 o'clock with a mix of sun and clouds. Now after 2, like I said, that's when we'll see a few pop-up showers and storms that will be developing. Some of those storms, like I said, could produce some gusty winds, heavy downpours. You can see it even into the evening at 7 o'clock there in Hampton County. And we'll see it as we go into later today of thunderstorms that will be firing up and then after probably midnight the front moves through and we will see that chance of rain really dropping off a late evening and early on Wednesday morning. Here's that forecast today and I was talking about summer like temperatures yesterday in Blackshear you hit 94 once again today about the same mid 90 stretching all the way up to Baxley also for Hazelhurst Little Whiskey today 92 also Hinesville to Darien most of the inland areas will be in the lower 90s for highs and that is including places like Pooler 92 91 for Richmond Hill and 88 there on the island there's Get away in Tybee Island, 81 degrees, so a little bit cooler for the islands. Beach water temperature mid 70s, so right along the immediate coast. It'll be cooler today. Bluffton, 90 degrees. Beaufort, 89. And Hilton had a good day at the beach with plenty of sunshine this morning. A temperature of 82 degrees. Storm Tracker 7 day forecast. It's looking like less chances of rain behind that front for Wednesday and Thursday. Back closer to average mid 80s for the middle of the week. And chances for rain going back up. Pretty good chance for scattered showers and thunderstorms for Saturday and Sunday. Now, it would not be a washout of a weekend by no means but we'll see chances for showers, especially in the afternoon with daytime highs in the mid 80s.